Well, she tells me on the phone, well, I, I understand I didn't tell you, but I'm going to call my buyer and I'm going to blame escrow, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, what, what do I say to that? <laughs> Guys, we're gonna get a little steamy in here. So if, if, I, get a little, if I had a little steamy music to play, Ooh, ah. yeah, there we go. She got the steam. She got the steam going here. So, so it's interesting because we asked this question to different escrow officers and, and and people in the business. What's a turn on for you in the business? What do you like about people? Uh, our best customers, and you know, the, are the ones that form the team, mm. and. They're smart enough to, and a lot of times these are the attorneys that are going to be uh, involved in a transaction or the, the, the realtor, sometimes the principal. We can do a lot before an escrow opens. You know, our fiduciary capacity, our neutrality, as soon as we have an escrow, takes precedence over everything we're doing in the transaction. We have the, the customer that you know, is endeared to us is the one that calls up beforehand and says, this is what I'm anticipating, you know, is going to happen. This issue has come up, you know, this, this party is, is dead, there was a bankruptcy, there was a foreclosure sale, whatever, you know, it may be, or just, you know, an unusual circumstance. And what we do is we, of course, do not give legal advice at any time but all of us are willing to share experiences that may be very similar to the situation that has been brought before us or close enough to say, and these were the alternatives that the people turned to to resolve that issue. So that when the, when the escrow is, is open, that issue has already been pretty, pretty much addressed. Everyone knows what they're going to have to do and that makes a team that you know is is put together as a closing team the realtor the principals and the transaction and your escrow title team i love that so it's like an orchestrated really efficient process you just see everybody doing their part and everybody's coming in and the right place at the right time making the right thing happen absolutely and a lot of times if we don't have the answer be, as you know, previously mentioned, we have Fidelity is has so many smart, wonderful people that are there. I can't tell you the number of times, even though I've been in this industry for 40 years, where I'm calling uh, one of our senior underwriters, our regional underwriters, whatever's needed to get the answer of what options do we have. Love well, it. I love the solution oriented mindset mm -hmm. also of every, I mean, you guys are all on the same page, hundred percent. How do we get this done? How do we make this better? What do we have to do? I love it. All right. Let's talk about what turns you off. Yeah. What do you, what do you not like? Yeah. What, what, what dirty what, stuff. Yeah. The stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Escrow getting blamed for everything. <laughs> That's so when, wait, when somebody throws you guys under the bus, cause maybe they didn't get their work oh, done oh, or send oh. stuff in, in time. And they're like, Oh, it's yeah. my title company. Oh, I, I got to tell you one I just had last week where we had an agent that we send out the initial information sheet. Do you have a transaction fee? What is your commission split? You know, what are the terms of your commission here? Again, we send out the commission order. Is there a transaction fee? We send a separate email. Do you have a transaction fee? We, here's the statement. Look at it. Are we missing anything? Put fireworks. Right yeah. Any fireworks. question. She never told us about her transaction fee. The escrow closes. Two days after closing, she's like, I didn't get my transaction fee. Well, we've asked you many times if you had one. We weren't aware of one. I we don't we didn't collect one. Well, she tells me on the phone, Well, I, I understand I didn't tell you, but I'm gonna call my buyer and I'm gonna blame escrow, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, what, what do I say to that? <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. She literally told me that on the phone, and I was telling Ron about it, and I'm like, 
I don't know that somebody I want to work with again, you know, right. She, she didn't ask me if she could use my, you know, throw me into the bus. She told me, well, that I, I know. Just so you know, yeah, you're going to fall on the sword here. Fault. I'm going to throw you under the fault, bus. But I'm going to blame escrow. <laughs> and I think that's very common that we'll just blame escrow. Wow. You know? So Esch that buyer will refinance down the road and they'll be like, no, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I thought that's probably one of my biggest turnoffs is, you know, if we make mistakes, we're human. I'm going to be the first to admit it to you. But if somebody else is making that mistake, please don't blame it on me. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's good. That's actually hilarious and terrible it for was. you. Well, I wasn't yeah. sure at first when I hung up. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, she's going to. Uh, did oh, you have okay. a chuckle about it afterwards? Were you like, this is oh, just I did. ridiculous? I, I did. I've been laughing about that's it for a week. Long talked about teamwork. Yeah. Yeah. I took one for her team. team. Right? Yeah, that team. Yeah, I thought that was funny. That. So that would be a big turn off on my part for as far as. Yeah. And, I and Julie, what about you on the relationship side too? Like what turns you off about working with an investor? Oh, oh goodness. Um, not, not getting, not getting educated. Uh, like, like this is amazing education right here, right? What, what you, uh, Jamil, you and Dina are doing right here, not working with us in advance, like, like Ron and Jennifer are saying just because I feel like besides of just closing a transaction, giving peace of mind, security, title insurance, we can help so much in the upfront process. So we, we want our agents that are going to list properties to get the lien report from us before. Imagine that we're going to do a little work before you even go out to the owner's home. Um, investors, let us run a report for you. Let, let us help you. So I think it's just because we Oops, sorry, we were we were tipping there. I think just because we know we're such a good resource, so it's like, gosh, why just why didn't you call us first? You know, and we're so good resources. Available.